Hello and welcome back my friends. Today what are we doing? I am excited to say that we are going to try and create an Instagram carousel using Canva. So stay tuned. All right, so let me get my Canva ready. Uh, before we get started, I just want to share with you um, the sizes that you'd have to um, select in order to create a carousel. So I'm just going to bring my uh, OneNotes here and just sh uh, show you that if you are creating uh, two slides, you would type in 2160 by 1080 pixels, uh, three slides, 3240 pixels by 1080, uh, four, five, six, and um, so on. I'm going to link these sizes in the description so that you have them and you can um, uh, take them with you uh, after the video. But um, for today's uh, presentation, I am going to create five slide, slides. But for today's presentation, I'm going to be creating an Instagram carousel with five slides. So that'll be 5,400 pixels by 1080. So let me um, move this to the side over here and uh, let me make my Canva wider and I'm going to come here and uh, again I'm going to create a custom size and for five slides it's going to be 54 pixels, 5400 pixels by 1080 pixels and I'm going to say create new size. Now it's going to be wide of course um, because this is going to be all of your slides in one and this is great because you can see all your slides uh, all together uh, and then what we'll do is we'll just break them up. Um, so what we'll do next is we're going to come up to file and we're going to go to view settings and we're going to add guides and we're going to create custom guides and we're going to want five columns and we're going to add um, we're not there's going to be no gap in here so I'm just going to remove the gap and I'm going to just say add guides so here are my five slides um, so I thought that um, we could do some like a Christmas themed uh, because it's around the holidays right now. Let's try and do something that's Christmas themed. And I was thinking maybe um, we could create uh, add some uh, elements. So let's see if I can find uh, Santa. Uh, and this one is nice. Maybe I'll add this one and I'll add him right here. Okay, so I've got my Santa in there. So you want to choose elements um, that um, you can place in, like on the seam uh, to transition between one slide and another. Um, so I'm just going to go through and just pick some elements um, that we can place uh, in there. Uh, like maybe some stars. So maybe I'll flip that. Like that. And I'll grab some candy canes. What else am I going to do? What else is Christmas themed? Maybe some um, uh, presents. Christmas presents. And maybe what I'll do is I'll move these candy canes up here and move these presents here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a gradient um, to this, to the background. And um, so let's, to apply a gradient, we're just going to select the background. We're going to come here. We're going to curse her down and I'm just going to select anyone for now, uh, but that's not what I, the gradient that I want. So I'm just going to come back up here and I'm going to customize and I'm going to choose something a little bit more um, um, festive. So I'm just going to come here and 
I'm going to scroll down here. Now the last one, I kind of want it white. So I'm going to add uh, another color here and I'm going to add white because that's going to be my ending color. Okay, so now that we are done with our background, what we're going to do is we are going to add some text. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add a heading. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that we can actually see what we're doing. Now remember, this is just an example. So obviously um, you can uh, add any other types of elements in here and customize it. Uh, as your own. So I'm just going to say happy holidays in here. Um, I'll make it a little bit larger and I'll make it white and I'm going to add the year in here as well. So I'll just say 2024 and um, just going to change the font. And, um, you know, if you are doing um, something for uh, the holidays and you want to add some more um, elements in here you can always come back and you can add uh, even uh, some Christmas tags uh, like that you can make them smaller uh, you know if you wanted to write on them uh, a message uh, you could do that you know it's a hundred percent customizable the way you want. Um, And uh, of course, if you want to add text, you can always um, add text in here. So this this is going to be slide one. OK, so I'm just going to make that larger so that uh, we can see the slides. OK, so that's going to be slide one okay there okay so we've got slide one two three four and five and you can decorate this any way you like what you're going to download and you're going to download as a png or a jpeg um, and you're going to download that to your folder once that's done you're going to go to a website called pine tools.com you're going to search for split image here it is and you're going to go look for your file so here is my file I'm going to open that so here it is right in here up here you've got your options and I want to split it horizontally I want five blocks and um, I want it in PNG format um, or JPEG, whatever, um, probably JPEG for Facebook and Instagram. Um, and now I'm just going to say split image. Okay, so here is my image. You can download it as one zip file or you can download it individually. I'm just going to download it all together in one zip file going to go to my folder. Here's my folder and here is my uh, zip file. I'm going to right click. I'm going to extract. 
um, extract all of those and here it is in this folder here. I'm going to double click and now I'm just going to change the view just so that I can take a look and here is my slide, my split up into five sections. And now you can take this and upload it into Instagram as a carousel or in Facebook. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please press that like button and subscribe so that you know when new content comes out. For now, my friends, bye-bye, and I'll see you next time.